Hi Aries, uh, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout uh, with your significant other. We'll have three spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at the situation as to what happened, uh, then the second spread will be the advice for you for that situation, and then uh, the third spread will be a uh, new love coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Aries, let's see what happened. Uh, we have uh, the High Priestess, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Wands. Then we have uh, the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with an um, Earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn, was a Water, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So we got uh, two court cards, right? We have you, the Queen of Wands, and we have the King of Pentacles. And both of you are clarifying kind of similar energetically speaking cards, right? Let's start with the uh, King of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Cups. Uh, the King of Pentacles most likely was an Earth sign, to or, or is <laughs> an Earth sign, <laughs> towards Virgo Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, um, it's uh, somebody who is like an entrepreneur, somebody who is very grounded, somebody who could be wealthy, things like that. The Seven of Cups is a card of a it could be interpreted so many different ways. One way to interpret it is a card of a multiple choice, right? For some of you, perhaps you found out this person was dealing with multiple people, right? For others of you, the Seven of Cups is a card of uncertainty and clarity. It's a card of uh, someone's judgment being clouded or this person was just a dreamer. Right? Um, perhaps you didn't know what to expect from them. Perhaps this person didn't know what, didn't know themselves what they want. All right? Because the Seven of Cups is like a card of somebody who is not a hundred percent sure as to what they want or what they need to do, or perhaps they want to do this and then they change their mind, this and that. It's like you were you you were sitting there and you didn't know what to what to think of this person or what to think of uh, what's going to happen next. That's what the Eight of Swords, uh, that is clarified by you, is all about. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped, it's a card of somebody who is overthinking, somebody who is not sure what to expect, you know, somebody who is like constantly thinking about what's going on. So it's like you didn't know what the heck this person was doing or what to expect or, you know, you, you just didn't see the future with them. The High Priestess, the first card I came out, could be a card of secrets, so perhaps you suspected this person had secrets or they weren't telling you the whole truth or they didn't, uh, they hid something from you or things like that. Right, the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of somebody who is closed off emotionally, it's a card of a crossroads, right, it's a card of um, perhaps somebody who says no or no more, things like that. You know, that's how it feels, it's like you you didn't know what the heck this person was doing or what to expect and things like that. Or you didn't know that this person, what they actually wanted from you. <laughs> Alright, and perhaps that's why you decided to leave them. Uh, that's my best guess. This is supposed to be for the broken hearted. Perhaps you had high hopes for this person in the, in the beginning, but then they changed, they became a person like that. As I, as I was just describing. All right. Yeah. Um. Let's take a look at the advice for you, real quick. Here's the advice for you, um, Aries. For what we saw in the previous one, we have the the Emperor clarified by the Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, then we have uh, the Three of Wands clarified by the Chariot, and uh, we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. Uh, we have Cancer and we have Leo on the table, and we have you. It almost feels like this person we saw in the first but turned out to be a waste of your time. Okay, and if you keep waiting, you'll waste even more of your time. I think the advice for you is to, um, you know, cut the cord, cut your losses, and move on, and seek happiness someplace else. For some of you, literally move, literally move. If that's what the spread is about, that's what the uh, story is about. Yeah, we we'll start with the uh, with the emperor. That's you. That's your major kind of card. You're clarified by the four of swords. Um, it's a card of somebody who is not really doing much and as we saw in the first spread nothing much was going on it's a card of somebody who is perhaps thinking right it's a card of healing uh, for some of you and uh, the seven of pentacles the next card over is a card of waiting and i think that was you waiting for that king of pentacles to make a decision to do something about it to move forward to offer you a commitment or something like that but it never came right and i don't think it's coming 
Therefore, with the 3M ones classified by uh, the chariot, yeah, it's uh, those two cars are talking about moving on or like literally moving or going somewhere. But for most of you, it's moving on. The chariot is a card of victory, all right? So you will have a victory with some um, other person. Uh, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back, right? The three of ones that the chariot is classifying, you see, we're looking at the person in the 3M ones, and this person is not looking back either, right? We're, uh, we're looking at this person's back. The three of is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made the decision, and it's final. We also have the sun on the bottom of the deck. The sun could be a card of clarity. So I think you're about to become crystal clear, or you already did become crystal clear, that nothing is going to uh, come out of that uh, connection between you and the King of Pentacles. You know, And uh, it's also a card of um, happiness. All right? So you'll be happy someplace else, with someone else. All right, so yeah, uh, speaking of someone else, the third spread is a new person coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread. Uh, Aries, this is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the Magician, clarified by the King of Swords. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have Virgo, maybe a Sagittarius. All right, I usually go with a King or Queen if one of both are up. So yeah, we got this King of Swords, clarifying the Magician, all the way to your left. By the way, before I forget, um, I was just looking at these cards, and you know what I noticed right away is that there's a lot of cards on the, on the table which are action oriented and that is going to be such a huge comparison right it's like night and day with the first person in the first spread there was no action whatsoever this spread right here is packed with action right the magician is a very active card the magician is all about taking action okay it's a card of manifestation but most importantly it's a card of taking action because the uh, magicians got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're not hesitating to use those tools <laughs> we have the page of cups on the bottom of the deck so that's how it will start you know <laughs> there isn't going to be um, much hesitation on this person's uh, end uh, the page of cups somebody either approaching you if you meet this person somewhere out or they will reach out to you maybe they will if you're in a, one of those dating apps, they will, you know, swipe in the in the right direction. <laughs> um, but the, yeah, the Page of Cups, somebody asking you out on a date. That's what the Page of Cups, in a lot of cases, is, right? It's the nicest page out of all four pages, okay? Well, the Page of Cups expects somebody paying you a lot of attention, being super nice to you, compliments, uh, things like that. Right, then going back to the Magician clarified by the King of Swords, yeah, the King of Swords is the person, right, so probably an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart, if they're not an air sign, they could be somebody who is like very intelligent, could be a lawyer or a professor, uh, somebody who could wear a uniform for work, right, and uh, the pa that page of cups on the bottom of the deck will very, very quickly get upgraded to the Knight of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups right there in the middle. And it's going to be mutual because we have two people in the Two of Cups. It's a soulmate card. It's a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another. The Knight of Cups um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But the Knight of Cups, uh, yeah, it's all about romance. It's all about love. It's the most romantic night, the most lovey-dovey night out of all four nights. So this is like the next step after the Page of Cups. And I, I don't see it taking too long, right? I don't see it taking too long. Um, and uh, at the end, we have the Ace of Pentacles, stuff at the Wheel of Fortune. You know, that is not going to take too long either before the two of you will land uh, at uh, those two cards, right? The Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a proposal, yeah. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity to me personally. Um, I usually interpret the Ace of Pentacles as like a bundle, it's like a package, all aces combined into one. All right, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, people usually know that uh, they want to get serious with another person. And the Wheel of Fortune clarifying it, yeah, jumping right into that cycle. It's a start of a cycle card, very fortunate cycle card. The word fortune is there for a reason. So, yeah, the two of you will very quickly arrive at the... Uh, at the understanding, at a mutual understanding that both of you, you know, make a really good couple. You're good, be, you, it's like you're a really good match with the Two of Cups. And therefore, the two of you will be talking like serious commitments um, soon. It's not going to take too long.
right? Remember that King of Pentacles in the first part? Nothing was going on. <laughs> With this person, yeah, it will it will gain momentum right away. Right away. It's like the two of you will hit the ground running. All right? Aries, so yes, that's pretty much all I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing February.